Hi foodie friends, today we are making crock pot buffalo chicken dip. Why cook buffalo chicken dip in the crock pot? Well, it keeps it hot, it keeps your chicken nice and moist, doesn't dry out, and you can make the entire thing in one pot with no other dishes except for a cutting board which is always amazing when you're having a party. Today we're going to be using the slow cooker feature on our Instapot. First thing we're gonna do is line the bottom with onions. This protects the chicken from the bottom of the pot so that it doesn't stick, but it also adds more flavor. Go ahead and place two chicken breasts on top of your onions. Yes, I have three here, it's actually two. One was super thick, so I went ahead and I cut it in half because that'll help it cook more evenly and stay nice and juicy. Next, you need a little bit of liquid to help it cook down and add flavor. So we're gonna use a low sodium chicken broth. Pour just a little bit in there to cover them up. If you're using the slow cooker feature, about two to three hours on high will do it. And if you're using the pressure cooker feature, six to seven minutes on high manual pressure and that's all you need for perfectly cooked chicken breasts. Okay guys, our chicken is done. We are going to grab it out of the Instapot here. It's steaming. I like mine with a little bit of onion, but if you don't care for onion, go ahead and just take that off. With two forks, it should shred super easy. If you don't want to do your own chicken, go ahead and grab a rotisserie chicken from the store, shred that, get a can of chicken. You can use leftover chicken from another meal. I do like it if it has a little bit of seasoning on it. This one obviously had the chicken broth and the onions. shredded up all of our chicken. I got rid of some of this extra broth. A little bit isn't gonna hurt it, and I am putting my onions back in. Go ahead and just put it all back into the slow cooker, along with your cream cheese. You can cut it into blocks, but it doesn't even need to be softened because it's gonna heat up while it's in here and we can stir it all in together, so it's not a big deal. Now, this is the biggest question I have for my foodie friends out there. Are you a blue cheese person, or are you a ranch person? With my wings, I like blue cheese. So we're gonna go with blue cheese in our buffalo chicken dip. About three quarters of a cup. If you aren't a huge blue cheese fan, don't put much in at all. If you really enjoy blue cheese, go ahead and load it up. Same with ranch. Next, hot sauce. But make sure you're using actual hot sauce and not buffalo wing sauce. Buffalo wing sauce is hot sauce mixed with butter. And while that's not such a bad thing, it also isn't hot sauce. It'll have more of a buttery, textury feel to it. We don't want that for our buffalo chicken dip. About three quarters of a cup here. Again, if you wanna add more heat, add more hot sauce. You can also put a few dabs of chili peppers in here or even fresh jalapenos. We're getting crazy now. And lastly, the cheese, because we need oodles of cheese in our buffalo chicken dip. This is cheddar and mozzarella, about a half a cup of each. If you want it to be spicier, go with a pepper jack or a habanero lace cheese. Any mixtures of cheese will do. Before you put the lid back on, just give it a quick stir. Obviously that cream cheese isn't gonna stir in too well, but you wanna try and toss the chicken with a little bit of the sauce and cheeses. And then we're gonna put the top back on. We'll put it on low for 30 minutes, and at that point, we're gonna go back in, give it a stir when the cream cheese and the other cheeses has melted a little bit, and heat it again for another 20 so that it's nice and creamy. Okay, at the 30 minute mark, you wanna go ahead and open it up, give it a quick stir, make sure all of those cheeses are evenly distributed throughout your dip. Cover it back up, another 20 to 30 minutes on low and you should be good to go. Okay guys, we are ready to go. I can smell buffalo sauce through my entire house. I am so excited. I could honestly eat just buffalo chicken dip for an entire meal. Now if I'm serving this at a party, I'd probably keep it in the Instapot or Crock-Pot with a serving spoon so that people can just take little bits of it as they come and go and it'll keep warm and moist while it is in the slow cooker or the Instapot. 
but for our intents and purposes today, I wanted you to be able to see our lovely finished dip, and I also wanted to give it a try. So here we go. You can do celery today. It is creamy and it has just enough spice that I can taste the hot sauce, but it's not so overwhelming that I can't taste the chicken. It is perfect. From my kitchen to yours, have a great day. Bye.